So as promised, I'm doing an updated what's in my bag. I guess you can call it updated. I mean, some of the stuff is still the same. Um, it's the bag itself that a lot of you had questions about. So I'm not one to switch bags too often. I hate that. I don't know how girls do it. I don't know how girls can switch their shit out and like every day and switch into a different bag. Um, that's just too much hassle for me. Um, so I just try to stick to something that I like or I pick something up that I like that's practical rather than trendy, if you get what I'm saying. Um, and I had been using my Forever 21 tote, so I wasn't really looking for a bag. I was content with that uh, until I saw this. And I saw this bag maybe, what was it? Was it last year's uh, Fashion Week? Or I forget, was it the Spring Summer Fashion Week? I, I just saw the Chloe show and ended up seeing them walk down the runway with the Chloe Faye backpack. Now, I know backpacks are trendy right now, which kind of contradicts what I just said, but I love it. I think it's a really, really pretty bag. The color is classic. Uh, then they have one that's larger than this. I think it's the medium or maybe the small. I could be wrong. But this is the perfect size for me. As you guys know, I have a tiny frame. I mean, I'm I'm 5'8", so lengthwise it's good. It's just bags sometimes just drown me out. I wear a size 0 or a 2 in pants. So I have really, really tiny waist. There's no um, curvature to me. I'm just a walking stick. So... I need to wear bags that are small, and my favorite type of bag is like a crossbody bag, uh, just because it's convenience, again, easy. Uh, but this happens to have a handle, so I can use it as a shoulder bag if I wanted to, which I've done. Or, you know, the straps to um, wear it as a backpack, obviously, and it has the pretty nice pale gold chain with the silver clasp on it and that suede front which I absolutely love, but I'm terrified at the same time. I think it gives, it's a nice contrast between the two, uh, between the leather, you know, and the suede, obviously. Uh, but I'm terrified that it's just gonna get ruined with water. I mean, I sprayed it, a protectant on it, but. Um, and then obviously it has the, the leather straps for the backpacks, and I mean, these detach, all of them detach, so I'm sure there's a really cool way to wear it as a crossbody if I wanted to. But right now, I just, I hold it by the handle, and, um, or if not, I just wear it as, you know, a backpack. Which yeah, so I thought I would just show you, or tell you my thoughts on the bag, and what I'm lugging along. There's a ton of beauty products. Okay, so in the bag, I would obviously have my cell phone, which uh, is the 7S Plus, I think that's what it is. The new one, the newest one, um, have that in there. Then I wish this came in a smaller size, and if it does, let me know. And uh, it is the La Mer hand treatment. I've been using this nonstop. It is a pretty big tube to just, you know, throw in this bag, but it's so worth. Like, my hands are disgusting. <laughs> this is the only thing that works, and it's not sticky or tacky. It sinks in. I spoke about it in my favorites, but. It smells so good, so I just, I throw it in my tote bag if I'm going to work. I'll use it at work, um, and I'll take it with me in my purse just because I'm constantly washing my hands, and I hate how dry and nasty my cuticles are. And then I have my pen, which I just keep in here because the, this is from Tiffany's. Um, this is their T-clip pen, but the edges on the pen already scratched the inside of my bag. Uh, there's a leather bit, which I'll show you, but it did scratch it. So I'm just keeping it in its little dust bag that it came in. Um, what else? I have sunglasses. I'm really not feeling any sunglasses. I've been, I, I purchased these a few months back and these are the round Ray-Bans, the metal gold ones. And I've worn them all summer. I've worn them the entire winter. <clears throat> and I've looked for other sunglasses to try out and purchase, but I'm not really, I'm just not, nothing's 
calling or screaming out to me that I need to have. And then I have my actual reading glasses. Well, I don't use them to read. I just can't see from afar. I'm blind as shit. But oh, I get so many questions about these. These are also Ray-Bans and they're the gunmetal frame, I believe. Um, I'll put the style number and I'll link to them down below. But um, I actually ordered a pair of new eyeglasses, which they're on back order. Um, they're a pair of Celine eyeglasses that I wanted. So I'm waiting for those to come in. But these are just the ones that I normally wear. Okay, next I have the Orbe Gold Lust Dry Shampoo. And as you guys can tell, I think I told you in my last video, I chopped it. And I've just been living in this like messy, I don't know, short haired style. And it's right now it's filthy. Uh, so I have just been sticking to a little bit of dry shampoo. And this can is perfect. It's super tiny. Love it. Uh, and it, it works. Next up is my Chanel wallet. I've had this since, or I bought this, I think for my birthday last year when I went to New York. It's scratch resistant and I've used this thing to death, but I love it. I think it's such a good um, investment piece. So have my wallet. And next up I have this Hourglass, what is this? They're lip stylos and this is in the shade Futurist. It's like a pinky brownie kind of shade. Um, I've just been wearing this every day with a little bit of lip balm and it's not super glossy but it does give some sheen to the lip. Now we're getting into beauty stuff. So I have this tiny little roller ball that I found. I was cleaning out my drawers and I found this scent from Nest and it's their Citrine scent I think it is and I've been wearing this non-stop and it's this tiny little roller ball and I think I'm going to go to Sephora and pick up the full size. Then I have uh, concealer and this is from RMS and this is their Uncover Up in the shade 33 and it's just this creamy emollient concealer. Um, I have, my skin's been pretty decent as of late. Uh, I've been trying to keep up with it but occasionally I'll get a spot or two so I always have concealer with me. Um, and then what else is in the bottom? I have a random alcohol pad. I constantly, I'm wiping my phone down so I always keep a couple of those in my in my bag. And then I have my AirPods, which I'm a huge fan of. And then this is like my favorite like chapstick lip balm kind of thing. It's by a brand called Drunk Elephant and it's their lippy. I think that that's what it's called. It just it's plumping, it's smoothing, it's the hydrating, it's the best lip balm I've ever used. I love the dinky packaging. I'm just a huge, huge fan of it. Pocket, I have my brow gel, or not brow gel, my brow is, Anastasia brow is, which I can't be without. I think it's in the shade dark brown. Uh, I have another scent, which it just lives in my bag, I keep it. It's by Rito's Gypsy Water, it's their perfume oil. And this is just, if I had to have a signature scent, it would be this, I love it. And then I also have this, 10 over 10 rose cuticle oil, which I think I, I mentioned to you guys in my current favorites as well. Again, super nasty dry fingers. So I've just been sticking to this stuff when I think about it or when I get the chance to, I just put some on and massage it in. Then I have this, which I don't need any lip plumping. I, I don't have an issue in that department. Um, but this is Dior's Lip Maximizer Collagen Lip thing, Lip Maximizer. And this is in the shade 006, which is like a pale, creamy nude. Uh, and I liked this just because of the way it looked on the lips. I don't know what the hell made me buy this, but um, I just, I'm really digging the whole glossy lip thing. And you definitely get really nice results with that. I, have that. I have my Charlotte Tilbury Iconic Nude Lip Pencil. This is something I do, I use all the time. So, and then another lip pencil that I'm loving is the Chanel Le Rouge Crayon something or other in number one nude. And this is their new like lip pencil, glossy lip pencils. Um, I purchased this because of Sabrina from the Beauty Lip Book. I love her and I saw this on her site and I had to have it. So ordered that and it's actually what I have on my lips today 
And then I have a spoolie just for my lashes. I brush them out every now and again when they get all tangled. Um, normally it doesn't happen, but I'm really picky about my lashes being nice and fluttery. So I have a disposable wand. And then I also have the authenticity card of the, the bag. So I fit all that crap into this bag, still have space. Um, and it doesn't distort the bag in any way. Here's the bag itself empty. It's like a, you know, like a little bucket bag kind of thing. And here is the, um, the pocket that I was telling you guys about. And then it has, you know, the little Chloe tag here in leather. And this is the leather bit that I was telling you about that my pen scratched. It scratched right somewhere here. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it did. Luckily it was towards the inside of the bag, but it's a nice, soft, slouchy leather. Okay, so that was it. I hope you guys enjoyed that, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.